Hey, it's Alan from Hat Gadgets here. We're going to be taking a look at the AR drone. You can see it's right over there. Let's walk over and uh, take a look. We're over here at the Parrot booth and uh, we're taking a look at their uh, newest product. It's the AR drone. We have one of their design engineers here. He's going to be taking us through how the technology works to make this thing actually happen here. Hi, I'm Yoni Benata from Parrot. So I've been working on the AR drone. I'll tell you how it works. So the AR drone is uh, controlled through a Wi-Fi uh, wi connection by your iPhone, iPod or I iPad. Um, well, what we do is that we're using the accelerometer of the iPhone to control, uh, to control the, the to control the drone. So when I tilt the drone, it will just uh, the drone will just tilt the same way. Um, to make the flight intuitive, we developed an inertial measurement unit, which is a, a board, a navigation board that has uh, embedded sensors, which is accelerometers, uh, gyro, and ultrasonic sensors for the altitude, and also a vertical camera. The vertical camera is used to measure the speed of the drone. And we have also uh, another camera uh, at the front. This front camera is used uh, to give you the first personal view and the first person view as if you were the pilot of the drone. But we also use it as a, as a, um, a sensor to make the augmented reality games because we are detecting shapes and colors. And by, by doing this, uh, you can imagine that we can detect another drone. So he can detect me, I can detect him. So we can have a virtual fight in a real environment with your drone. But also you can have in the real picture, you can implement some uh, virtual, uh, virtual images. That is the augmented reality. So the quad rotor helicopter uh, is controlled with, uh, is, is, uh, with four, um, four brushless motors. Uh, the four brushless motors are controlled directly by the motherboard uh, that is making the fusion of all the data from the navigation board uh, from the, and the, the comments that are coming through the Wi-Fi connection uh, and it's controlling uh, the motors to make the servoing to, to have, a, to have a, the autopilot working. So this is how it makes, we make it very stable. It just, when the drone doesn't have any comments, it will just hover, waiting for comments. Any, any disturbance of the wind will be compensated by the autopilot and when the comments are received, the drone will just react following the, the comments from the, the pilots. So the motherboard is, uh, is um, it, on the motherboard we use a, a Parrot chip, which is the sixth version of a Parrot chip uh, that it's based, it's an ARM9 and um, is doing all the computing for the drone. Um, what, what, what would you like to know? Sorry, exactly. And the other question I, I would have is uh, the, the technology in the actual um, flight system itself. Um, I, I understand that in the flight system, each of the um, four blades have independent control. Is there a, an actual microcontroller that's built into that, or how is that actually interfaced? So each motor uh, has its own controller that is uh, controlled by the main board. So uh, we have a, um, a, a speed control, so we control the speed of each motor and we, we, we give him comments um, um, based on the, on the servoing we want, to, we want to reach, right? So um, if um, it all comes from the motherboard uh, based with the fusion of from the navigation data, navigation board. And it looks like they're quite robust. I've, I've seen people doing some, uh, you know, crashes and things when they've been uh, testing it. Um, it looks like it's, uh, you know, it holds up really well. Is that a special type of uh, material that you have in the, uh, in the outside? Well, um, we have a different kind of material. We are using a, a nylon uh, material for the, for the plastics, which is uh, uh, reinforced with fiber. Um, also, we have a carbon structure for the, for the arms of the drone. And, um, and EPP material, which is uh, uh, like um, expense uh, um, um, foam, uh, polypropylene uh, expense foam. 
and uh, that is very light and very flexible so that gives uh, um, that gives uh, its resistance to the shock and all the parts from the drone are repairable so you can you can break a part and replace it this is all repairable this is all we we've been uh, uh, we've been doing the conception of the drone is to make it repairable so if you crash it and, and let's say uh, one of those motors is uh, for the uh, uh, one of the uh, the four propellers is is damaged uh, is that something that a an average user would be able to replace of course we have a full uh, full toolkit system where you can replace the, the the blade you can replace the propellers you can replace the the gears you can replace the the EPP structure even the cross the central cross with the carbon fiber uh, tubes yes you can repair I appreciate you uh, spending this time with us. Hey, gentlemen, 